Okay, so... Just in case you guys don't know this, I got a new computer. So everything should run pretty well. I checked in my sound, and everything should be kosher. Alright, so... Uh... Did I talk to whoever... Oh, right, let's look at this new page. Alright. The downside prairie first appeared serene. It is not. The soil here accommodates... Accommodates only... Native vines and underbrush. Most likely food sources prove poisonous. Thus we journeyed further north. The climate grew... There grew fouler to my senses. Though the cur Jomur found it eminable. This sprawling valley, pocked with long evaporated lakes, gives evidence to monstrosities which roam this land. We found the region west, region's western edge to be more pleasant on the whole. There we found sources of fresh water, whereas over east we, we found the edge of the land most hideous decay. Oops. Okay. Much can be said about the Sisters of Ark, whom we banished to the Great Bernard for deeds irredeemed. Suffice it that details of their banishment were written in this book. The Sisters and the book became inseparable, not unlike the stars their light and the infinite darkness that engulfs them. The stars communicate to us and you in turn. The words within this book are but an edifice, a simple surface. Look past the test to hidden meaning, to hidden power. The stars above, as they are, are not mere lights. These are not mere words. If you chance upon the sisters of the arch, which in their prison there, give them our thanks. Gaining the summit of the sacred mountain Alodeo involved no small amount of sacrifice and her portion. The mountain's energies were palatable. The sensions we, that we felt indescribable. The land we stood upon were closer to the stars than the world we knew. It was upon the highest point in all of the downside that we first made efforts to concord this tomb, which you now read. It was there that we were stricken with a vision of the cycle of rights and felt together for the first a sense of freedom unlike any we've experienced. But that is a subject which our comrades shall illuminate in greater detail. The Nine Triumvirates. At first, I found it much too difficult to read, much less rice, even to grasp the quill. But Mura implored me. He said, "This is the greatest gift that we he could give me in return. In return for what I asked. In return for his life." He said. But I did not save your life. I said. You did. He said. We fight about it still. Mur is stubborn, more than I. Now, Heron, by his leave, I chronicle the nine triumvirates, for I am this land, unlike the rest who wish to leave. We knew not everyone could leave, could leave who wanted. Seldom would the opportunity arise. Thus, we organized those striving for the chance into nine sets of three. We the eight assembled here in the downside and gave our freedom so you may have yours. It is an exchange we do not m have lightly made. It is my charge to ensure that you, should you regain your freedom, first recognize its qualities and also use it wisely. You do not need a pair of wings in order to be free. My own wings I once thought that could take me anywhere and then took me here where I am bound. It is your charge to be free and not to make the same mistakes. Spring from here and learn what we did. Build a new and great society. A free society where wings spread wide for everyone. Wait, did they want to be free? To, did, did they know that society was gonna suck? To the Beyonders, a triumvirate is to stain the other's effort. I am beholden to describe a pack of bandits loosely organized under the Sisters of the Arch. They traveled all the way into my land to take the horned one's life, to kill my friend Mur. We thwarted them. We had them at our mercy. Mercy had become imperative to Mur. We spared their lives, but banished them to darkness far beyond these lands. Now and forever, the Beyonders cling to a bolden duty to confront the true triumvirates whenever they so choose. So that whenever the truth comes to clash, 
Oh, so they must be talking about, um, Sandra. Do you feel kinship to the stars? Perhaps even one day, even your own freedom. I chased the stars across the wherever of my genealogy until they led me here. I demanded they explain to me the paradox of knowledge. For how is it that something can be shared but still contained within ourselves and in its entirety? The stars did not respond but sent me on a quest. I sought landline marks, which they revealed to me. So someday I would reveal their mysteries to you. These landmarks in the inner of the stars are nine lenses through which we see the land and ourselves in a new light. Years upon we spent. Hold on. Alright. Alright, the first exile. Lost Emperor. The rope collar. The collapse. Down the river. The hunt for myrrh. The demon. Mercy shown. Oh! So each one of these tabs is a new chapter. I've read everything in this chapter. It makes sense now. Alright. Once I too roamed free. I remember those days. I remember well those days in which I was called chief. I traveled and over my good four paw I was well redorned. I wanted to grow stronger. Here, at last, I have. I shall not mince my words. This place shall either harden you or kill you. It still haunt. It shall haunt you with old memories. You share the exile plight. My charge is to alleviate the sting of it for you a little bit, to prolong your stay, but only as long as needed. Your charge is to return. You call this place a downside for a reason, but in time you can learn to eat, to seek out shelter and to find a certain beauty in the unlikely places. Alright, so these you could change the page. This one you can't. This one you can. Years upon many long years we spent distilling life essence from many things, which all were withered and smudged in the In this we have no regrets. We have learned much, and so we think they we they did. We did. We think they did. We learned. We earned the title witch, and were forced to flee into the downside. Here we encountered Solem and Mur, and soon we gained an understanding of each other. He bade us to circumnavigate these lands and catalog our findings. We felt a strong desire to expose the secrets of the land. He wished to yield be to yield benefit to those who followed in our wake, and in to indulge us both then. Downside Prairie first appears serene. It is not. Okay, I read this. Alright, so east is pretty good. Gaining this, gaining the summit of the sacred mount of our... Okay. Gaining the summit of the sacred Mount Oladel involved no small amount of sacrifice and so we did wavering portion. The mountain's energies were palatable. A sense that we felt indescribable. The lands we stood upon were close to the stars than to the world we knew. It was upon the highest point in all of the downside that we first made efforts to contort the tomb, the cycle of rights, um, and felt a sense of freedom. Okay. I did that. Alright, we read, read that. The Book of Rights. Okay, so I should thank the sisters. These two tabs haven't been... Alright, what's this? Um, Alright, so we re read that. Alright, read that. And... Okay, I've read everything. Can I talk to her? Well, hello, my lovely reader. What might I do for you? Oh, I can do a scrab challenge. Great. Um. 
Simply indicate who is to be my student for the time. You already did. Oh, alright. So who can we do? Gilman. Alright. You asked Sandra to administer one of her special trials for Sir Gilman. You think that dimwit of a worm has any chance? Perhaps you are correct. Though, I put a little stock in him myself. Though, let's bring him forth. Sir Gilman appears to in the heat of summons. <laughs> Master Reader! It is this knight's perchance in trouble for something? Alright, let's see what we got. I forget how to do this shit. The apparition Sandra appears and unfastens her mask. Listen well, worm. You answer to me here. Um, as you will, your highness. Your highness. I like the sound of that. The flattery shall get you nowhere here. Demonstrate your confidence to me, then, worm. You shall have to do it mostly on your own. Though, under the guidance of your lovely reader, I trust you are prepared. Of course, your highness! This knight accepts this challenge! Alright, what we gotta do? Oh, hi! Oh, boy. Alright. Nope! 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 Gotcha! Bye! Oh, bye! Gotta regain, regain, regain my... Run away! Ah, oh, fuck! Two, one, go! Okay, this is not good. Bye, bye. All right, I gotta. Gotcha. All right, two more. Bye. Nope. 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 Oh, she's a tree guy. Okay, I see. Ah, fuck! Nice. B B. Gotcha! Alright, one more, one more, one more. We got this. Oh, fuck. Um... I'm gonna hang out here. Alright. Run away. Gotcha. Booyah! Sir Gilman! Huzzah! This knight prevails! I have no choice but to concur with that assessment, Worm. Your performance was sufficient, and you passed my test. Those congratulations are... Congratulations are in your... I forgot her voice. And to you, and your lovely reader. Now farewell. Sir Gilman, you're awesome, you're awesome, awesome, awesome. What's what's this flowing here? Master Reader, this knight is humbled after passing that sorcerer's test. What? Uh, By the scales of the Under King Ors. What is that you have? Or scales. Ooh, jumps further. Oh, it's a keepsake. And Waking Wood Whispers. Oh, monthly fee involved. Ah, all right. Let's see what this thing does. Um. Nice. All right. Um. 
go out and survey the fall flat. After reaching, after having reached the stark bad lines of fall flat, you volunteer to survey the grounds. You prepare to head out. However, your companions beat you to it in this case. Hold, Master Reader! This knight and good Pathmine, Pathma shall wreak, shall wreak concur, retcon in your stead. They depart, leaving you to rest up. When they return with nothing much to report, you are feeling better, are in mi midst of deciding your vocations to pursue. Um. Now it's mentor. Right, who needs a good mentoring? Alright, you're good. You're halfway to there. Pathma could use some mentoring. Why? Why, certainly, d reader darling. How good of you to ask. You ask Pamitha to explain to you in her own words the histories of the eight scribes and speak to how their varied backgrounds form the basis not just of the rights, but of the commonwealth. Yes! Oh no! Nah. Haven't I learned everything I've learned is going somewhere faster than I expected. Alright, what we got? Uh, after caster trigger our burst of banners in your side. Let's do that. My sisters, we all come from the flock of Terista Train. Maybe we just don't remember her anymore. The eldest harp matriarchs anointed the Book of Rights and gave power to their words. Alright. Let's continue. Oh, I picked, um, Banshee Bitch again, didn't I? Okay, I think I can do this. Alright, slug mark. It revealed. Hey, Gilman, what's up? Sir Gilman is fuming in anger over something. So much so that you are hesitant to approach him, but you approach him anyway. Exile! It's too late! A sentence for this night! Come again? He notices you and seizes up. He begins acting rather nonchalant, as though his, bur his outburst did not just transpire. Oh, greeting to you, noble master reader. What brings you to this night this afternoon? Are you okay? You maintain a gentle tone with him and ask whether there is something he might wish to discuss. Sir Gilman perhaps could benefit from talking through his woes. Mm. He stands there for a time, silent and dejected. But then... <sighs> Master Reader, this knight cannot expect, escape the horrors of his past. It seems that you would hear them. Then you have this knight's apologies ahead of time for burning you further with his troubles. <laughs> Having said that, here... Then, are the troubles you requested. You are, of course, familiar with the siege of the Spyro Sanctum. For this night, the memory of it is like a wound which will not close. Uh, the burnt down remains of the capital of the Commonwealth. Stands as a warning. Yeah? This night stood there on the front lines while, whilst the high wing remnants, last surviving a dual faction of wing harpings, the ancient enemies of the Commonwealth, descended upon us. So furious was their assault that our chain of command was ruptured instantly. We of the Sea Dominion, we require orders to perform our duty. Without such orders, why, we surely made a very easy target there that eve. One by one, then two by two, they picked us off, becoming bolder, some of them shrieking with laughter all the while. This night, he saw his comrades cast aside like sea flies. How this night survived, he does not know for certain, even now. Perhaps it was he attempted to pursue and to detain his own night commander, whom you met when you met first met this knight that cursed sir deluge if not for his craven cowardice the spiral sanctum it might have held at least a while longer but instead we were routed rendered spineless both in form and deed sir deluge was first to turn and flee as our change of command crumbled and as for this knight he failed to catch his knight commander he must have looked a little like looked like a coward too thus came the time for penance penance and this night, while he insisted on the only course of action reasonable, he insisted one sentence to the downside. And as you can plainly see, his wish was then fulfilled. 
How absurd that he should re reencounter his old knight commander here soon after. Thus did this knight become obliged once more to Sir Deluge. We took to the waters and the Sea of Solis, where soon we met the Pyre Hearts, a triumphant inclusive of our own kind. It was plain to see that they lacked withal, and Sir Deluge, they thought he could provide it. The leadership they sought, and his was too much of a coward to decline. So, so for this knight, being of the Sea Dominion, he had little choice but to comply, or so at first he thought. When this knight, when he encountered you in the Nightwing, something awakened within him. With so little honor left to lose and so much left to gain, it became intimately clear that this knight stood a better chance within your ranks than those of Sir Deluge. And there is little less to say. This knight cannot escape his past, and yet he chooses to believe that he was spared that day, not merely by coincidence. Perhaps under King Orus, yet, Orus yet has plans in store in which this knight may play a part. This knight, he clings, however so vainly, to that hope. He slithered away, his head bowed low. It seems best to leave him for now. You sense he feels relieved at having shared this. Oh, that's cool. So now I have Sir Gilman's thing, alright? I don't know his crime. He doesn't have a crime, he just wanted to be sentenced. This is his third year in exile. I don't know anybody else. She was a prisoner of war, perhaps. I don't know why she's here. I don't know why he's here. And... I don't know why... Okay. Um, alright, what's new? We found each other in due time, by fate, not by coincidence. The wise loose Gorillion stood among the trees, gazing at the stars, expecting us. The wild witch Melith was so enthralled by my liege's other transformation, she stayed her sorceries. Blessed born Trista swooped down upon us, but to warn of imminent attack. The many main Jomior thus intervened and shared with us his humor and his hunt, and even the Underkin Oras found himself sought himself saw an audience but with us. Thus we became the eight and juried on together. I oft think I often oft times think the carapace of the high titan Balanthus thus be a everlasting blemish on an almost splendid bit of land, but Jormir and his brashness fell the monster with a certain flare. Then the moon shone through the ridges of the massive carapace, and shined upon the pooling ichor, turning it into the freshest nectar ever tasted. The spring shall flow eternally, and those who walk within it shall experience the resplendent glory of the land. The stars began to fall where there in the spring with regularity, and we know now we now now know how soon again they shall do so. We wish to see it for yourself. Much can say ab much can be said about the sisters of Arch who we banished to the great beyond for these irredeemable. Oh. That's it. Alright. Uh what's on your mind? Ah, my best friend in the world. Come to visit me again. Does it make you uncomfortable, perhaps, that I should call you thus? Perhaps you think that you do not yet know me very well. But I know you just fine. You revealed a great deal to me when you th when you come visit me like this. You're not the only one who can sense things in others, you know. <laughs> she laughs to herself. <laughs> one learns to read a bit when forced to suddenly appear within the book for 837 years or so. Especially if one is wont to pry a little, you understand. For it gets rather boring in here. I know all about you, a common wanderer who vowed to help her friends to be free again, only to end up spending all her time talking to an apparition stuck in a stone. Oh, I know about your loves, or lack thereof, about your favorite pastimes, certain habits you may be somewhat loath to admit. Fear not, of course. I use a special knowledge only as a means to entertain myself, I think. And if you don't like it, why, just keep your distance, like so many of your predecessors. 
as for the other beyonders, they are a race. They are as race to me, as ice must seem to all those idiots with whom you consort. I cannot confine fight as easily in my own kind as I am able to confine in you. Huh. You trust me. But I suppose that I have said too much. Thank you as ever for your visit. You have given me a lot to think about. More than you know. <laughs> she laughs softly again. Alright. Well, see ya. Go forth and show the adversaries what you've learned. Alright. Slug market! Hey, Kai! Come on, guys, come on in! Say, now whatever happened to that smart headwind guy? Did he really get out of here like I've been here in the what? Uh, yes, he has. When flinging the orb, the bearers are two prone damage. Banish one second longer. How much money do I have? I have 20. Can we sell this? He's not around anymore. I'll keep it for now. What's this? Drag to usable one. Or learn any masteries and choose again. That could be pretty good. Um, I have percent. I'm good for now. Well, I guess maybe I should pack it up for the day. All right, commence the right. Though the now familiar surroundings of the Spring of Your Mirror have made preparations faster than before, the stars are already aflame by the time you and the others are gathered. At last, we... At last. Well, Papmitha, I have every faith in your ability in this. What? I'm choosing her? Not a god, it does. <laughs> Shouldn't be a problem. Always thought a good stretch of my... Always good stretch of my wings for a bit. Besides... You wished him all good fortune in turn. Little else is said, and together you watch a celestial harmony in common silence, and await the withdrawn. Narrator? No narrator? Huh. Reader. Ever persevering, aren't we? I got well, one out. Rejoice, because the cycle of the rites begins anew. Perhaps you'll liberate another soon enough. I plan on it. Your chosen adversaries here shall be the withdrawn. Reduce their flame to ash, just as you did when last you met. Now. Who exactly shall oppose them? Precious time you snuffed our fire's flame prevail. This time all of Yash, no matter result, no matter the cost. So withdrawn. Let's show them what the night wings can do. Alright. We have grown strong. The power of Yach courses through our pains. You sense a milky speak the truth. The Rudron are more capable than the four. Don't underestimate them. Now, let us get started. All right, more about the Rudron. Okay. Oh, I see. All right, at the start of the right, the adversary is actually negative 20. Oh, shit. Oh, it's a tiny Tizo! Uh, when flinging the ore, add his bonus for our damage. Alright, what we got? Implode ability. Innocent, implode ability. Pyre deals five additional. Aura blasts at a wide angle. And you're just. So you're pretty much like Tizo. You're not very enlightened, are you? Alright, what we got here? I want. Alright, we'll have to do, use that to counteract this. Do I have any other really good talismans for you? Alright, let's... We need quickness. Squeeze! 
Black Tiso is fired up, ready to take on the withdrawn. Hear us, Lach! Bring us Thai terrible power! Fuck off! Now begin! Nope. Nope. Already does your pious flame begin to Fuck off! Wow. No sign of the withdrawn for now. The fire of resolve. Water! Takes the plunge. Yeah, Tizo. There. Ah, fuck. A shameful outcome. Did I just dive in my own god? Okay, I'm I'm having a lot of trouble. Oh shit! Bye. Doused to the adversary's flames. Even now, the ashes of our pyre mingle with his lifeblood. Prevail or no, ye shall not interfere with his return. Okay, um... Sinners. The orb was cast into your pyre. Yeah, I, I can see that. The uh, Nightwing's I... adversaries gained an edge. <sighs> to each his own. Need rookie. Their fire sputters. This is the path to glory. The orb. Oh, fly, fly. With grace. Right. Now end of the ceremony. Oh. Where is the orb? Oh. Well, I dare say. Oh, fuck. All right, protect it. Oh, land. Okay, that was a little tougher than I wanted to be. Night wings prevail. The scribe showed them a bit of favor in the end. Shut up! I'm not good at this. The right is done. Yes, as favor savers defeat thine ours. He cares not. He shall see. Hate you. Hate you. Bask now in the wisdom of the scribes. The imp Tizo appears to have a certain depth of knowledge. As a flash of inspiration about his row in the right as part of the night wings. All right. Um. Yes. All right. Until the next right. Okay, that was a little tougher than I expected.